Hello everyone, my name is John Dean. Welcome back to another video. My wife's just coming in and ruining my video, which is lovely of her. What's wrong, my love? Well, I did ask before I came in, but you didn't acknowledge me. In today's video, we are going to have a look at doing some product photography or videography, should I say, actually. Um, so I've just reach, recently purchased a blue screen, which is going to help me out in this mission. I have got a green screen, but the product which I wish to be uh, videoing has some green in it. So um, this is the product that I'm doing for a client. Um, it's called Bamboo Bar. So it's a dispenser that's made entirely of bamboo, which obviously um, you can reuse. And this is the refill for it. So you can see here, it's got a little bit of green on which will mean that uh, we need to use a blue screen in order to get the most out of it but I am going to do my best uh, with what I have at my fingertips because that is the most important thing let's dive in Hi there guys, I thought I'd just do a quick update as to where I'm at with the setup. So let me flick over the camera and I'll show you what I've got going on. Okay guys, so this is the setup. I have my product on top of this Lazy Susan, which I got from Amazon for £20. Got a bottle lid on top, which is blue. Um, I've got my new blue screen in the background there. Works really well, sort of pops up nicely not too many creases which is cool and then i've got uh, this light which i need to sort out just the aim of that is to have it shining a little bit of orange onto there which is sort of uh, go blends in quite well got the um, an led light shining onto the blue screen just to light it up a bit um, and then we've got the go dogs sl60 and the light dome mini with a honey grid on top to make sure the lighting is going straight down and now we've and then we've got my tripod my monfrotto tripod and i am about ready to go let's do a take so this is us recording the first take 4k 30 frames a second because my camera doesn't do any higher in 4k which is a bit of a bummer but anyway would preferably like to do this in 60k uh, 60 frames a second or um, 120 frames a second to get that buttery smooth slow motion but the lazy susan's slow anyway so that should compensate it'll give us a lot to work with um, we can mask out the corner you can see the corner of the uh, the edge of the blue screen in the left there uh, which we can mask out and i'm about to overheat so just as a little thought i in terms of settings my camera keeps trying to overheat which is fun um but i've got 30 frames a second 4k because i really want to punch in and use that 4k to punch in um now my frame rate is 30 so i've doubled the shutter speed um, which is the, yeah, basically the rule of thumb in regard to these things. I've got my aperture fairly high, so it's not too shallow, so I'm not going to get any blur in the background. Um, and my meter is just under the zero, uh, saying it's just slightly underexposed, largely because I didn't want to overexpose because there's a lot of white in this shot. And I've got a low ISO there, um, and I've got daylight. <laughs> as my camera white balance so that is my setup um, as i say i'd like to do 120 frames a second i might double with that in 120 and a bit um, but yeah this is where we're at and i'm hoping that should key out well just an experiment really because i'm still learning product videography but um yeah i've been following daniel schiffer if you haven't seen him before check him out because he is pretty amazing at this type of thing. Sony's EV1 by the way, ladies and gents, no fancy camera equipment uh, particularly. So yeah, this is it. Okay guys, so we have done it. We've shot our footage on our backdrop. So I'm now gonna begin importing it into Final Cut Pro and begin seeing how it looks. Uh, gonna key it out, look at it and 
basically see if it's actually worked. Let's take a look. So this is where we're at at the moment. Um, now if I turn off this gear, that's what it looked like. I put the key on. Uh, there was a bit of a edge going on uh, here from the shine of the bottle. You might see a bit there that I've got to just mask out. But I've managed to use this sample uh, colour uh, selection tool to uh, eradicate the uh, shine from the bottle lid. Um, I'm a bit scared to touch it to be honest. Uh, in case I lose that um, and playing around with these edges uh, still learning all these controls to be honest um, but yeah uh, it's coming along shall we say so yeah fairly happy with that so it should mean that we can put things behind it um, which I might experiment with in a second so all in all looking fairly good over now a few moments later okay guys so this is where we are at now it's looking good but the there's a bit of white here on the bottom um from the reflection of the uh the lid that i was using because it's sort of a shiny surface so it's picking up there so i've got to try and work that out i'm trying to mask it at the moment and trying a variety of things but generally speaking for the most part it's not looking too shabby. Here's the bottle. Got a bit of edge edging that I need to work on. And if you look carefully, it's sort of flashing a little bit as it goes around, which is a bit annoying. So got to try and perfect that in the coming hours or days, shall I say, because I've been working on this over the course of a few days. So um, yeah, just got to work on these tweaks really. So. I was hoping it was going to be a bit more simple, especially as I was using the blue lid. But um, it turns out that it's not quite as simple as I hoped for. So uh, but all in all, it's been a good experiment and I hope you've enjoyed the journey. Um, I just wanted to take you guys along for the ride, really, um, just to show you that it's worth just getting your hands dirty and having a play around. So hopefully this video has been useful if it has. Please do remember to hit the like and the subscribe button. Apologies for the lighting and maybe the positioning of my camera, but um, it's probably I'm just sort of winging it for a biscuit because my lights are all set up over there and I don't want to move them just in case I need to do redo things. So thanks ever so much for watching, guys. If this video has been helpful, please do remember to hit the like and the subscribe button. Have a great week and I look forward to catching you in the next video. Bye for now. Hi there guys, this is Future John. Just wanted to interject something. So the bottle lid that I used yesterday wasn't really working at all. It was providing, it was creating that sort of shiny surface, which wasn't doing the trick in the slightest. Um, I didn't really think that through and it also it was too wide, too big, things like that. So I realised that Daniel Schiffer in one of his videos was using a thinner sort of cap that was thinner than the actual product itself. So this is great. It's actually the top of Pritt stick stick. Um, if you're in the UK, I don't know whether you've got it in uh, American stuff, but uh, in the UK, uh, you'll know what this is if you've been to school, which most of you would have been. Um, so this is really thin. Uh, this will go perfectly underneath the bamboo uh, product that I've got, the deodorant uh, dispenser, um, and it won't reflect. And what my plan is, is to paint it. So I've got some blue paint, uh, and that should in theory mean that if I paint this, it will key out really nicely. Uh, there won't be any reflection issues and I'm hoping that will produce a perfect image. So just wanted to interject this thought because I realised that, that bottle was far too wide and was causing far too many issues. So a thin cap like this should do the trick. Um, uh, and that's that. So hopefully uh, that little tip has been helpful because you definitely don't want reflection coming off the base and causing a white glow. So thanks ever so much for watching, guys. I hope this video has been helpful. If it has, please do remember to hit the like and the subscribe button. That would be amazing. 
you are amazing. Keep up the good work. Keep making videos. Keep getting creative, getting your hands dirty. And I look forward to catching you in the next video. Bye for now. I wanted to interject something. This is future Johnny, by the way. Oh, I keep saying future Johnny. Why am I saying Johnny? This is future John. Hi there, guys. This is future John. Cause you, brighten my day up like the sunrise.